Connor uh, and Marshall show, Rock 1061. <laughs> you guys, you guys, if you're not doing the stream thing, join the horde now, man. Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. So much goes on off the air. Mm. It's like it is a show within a show. All right, we're joined in studio by Mac. We're mm. learning all kinds of things about Mac again. Yeah. Words she doesn't like. There's more that she doesn't like than she does at this point in time. I just wrote down three, and I think that's only like. I the can't beginning. even look at the list. <laughs> Here, I'll, I'll turn the piece of paper. Right, there we go. All I'll right. show it to you later. Sorry, Hippin. Max in studio for Chicks on Dudes. This is your chance to ask a question that maybe you can't ask somebody to their face. So if you have a question you'd like Max to answer for you, KM Show at rock1061.com is the email address. Good morning, Mac. Good morning. Morning, Mac. Good morning. Now, you said you were kind of uh, in a mood today. Yeah, I don't know. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm are good. you Are you up to answering our questions? Absolutely. Okay. Just this might make... be more fun than usual. <laughs> okay. Uh, we get full on Mac with this. All mm. right, here we go. Question number one. Hey, chicks. Sometimes when I text, I do it unintentionally. Like I try to be funny or keep the conversation going. Maybe it comes off as cringe and I overreact sometimes. Is texting a turnoff for some of you or do you let it slide when you read a message that probably sounds weird? It depends on how many messages you've sent back to back. Calm down, guy. <laughs> <laughs> um, is texting a turnoff? No. But I feel like this day and age is the normal communication. Nobody does phone calls anymore. Um, mm -hmm. Do you let it slide when you read a message? It probably sounds weird. It just depends on how well I know them, I guess. Okay. If it's like first right off the bat, it's like, okay, this guy's weird. <laughs> um, but if it's like maybe a week or so and you've kind of gotten to know them mm -hmm. through text, wow. Um, yeah, I guess it's not as weird. If it's like, I guess it really depends on the situation. If it's yeah. three o'clock in the morning, you're like, man, football's crazy, right? <laughs> like, that's a little weird. It could come off cringy. But if, you know, your conversation ended naturally and then you're like, ah, Cold Stone Creamery, that's a great brand of ice cream, right? <laughs> I think that is a great way to possibly continue the conversation. Yeah, I don't think it's, I don't think it's bad. I mean, especially texting is the way people communicate anymore. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I, I think it's you sad. have to be, <laughs> I think you have to be open to it. I mm -hmm. mean, because that's. How most people are going to reach mm -hmm. out. It's how you're going to interact most of the time. So, I mean, unless you're just coming off as something bizarre and weird, I, I don't think it's bad. Let it roll. Well, the thing is, I text you all the time, and Cotter hates it when I text him because I get one-word replies all the time from Cotter when it comes to texting. Well, that's just how I respond. It, I mean, if, you, if it deserves more than one <laughs> word, I'll give you more than one word. Cot Cotter's I, natural responses are cool yes. or nice. Yeah. Every single time. Well, I mean, you or said... cool, I, I could be like, I'm having a baby, and my uh, mother passed away. And he'd be like... Cool. Aw. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's what well, no, no, no. You would get more out of me for for a question like that. I mean, you shot me like the streaming numbers from the other day. Mm -hmm. what, what am I supposed to do? Have a dissertation about how great they were? No. Yeah. It was just like, nice. Awesome. I mean, what more do you want? You could have been like, oh, man, that's great. I think we're going to be able to grow this thing uh, to, to another level. You just wrote. Nice. <laughs> He's just trying not to waste your time nor his. Uh, there's no, there is no way anyone could waste my time because I do nothing most of the time. <laughs> you said it. So no, I don't. I don't think it's bad. I mean, I think it depends on what the what the text is. I mean, if you're just being weird. Okay, we could ask Mitch. Three o'clock in the morning. I see you. What? <laughs> Wait, does that happen to you? <laughs> no, <laughs> not yet. Not yet. <laughs> well, one day. Um, Cotter, you want to go into the next question yeah, I think here? We can go ahead and go into. All it. right, let's go ahead and jump into uh, question number two. Our third question is a doozy. You're definitely going to stick around for question number three. Question two goes like this, Mac. Sup, chicks? I'm 21, and I met a girl who is almost 24, but she really likes me. And I don't know why an older woman would like a younger guy, like three years younger. One year I can understand, but three years? No, he says. Never experienced before. Is it normal? What could be the reason? This guy, very young, another girl, little less than three years, into him, and he's freaked out by the proposition of an older woman coming on to his young stallion-like body. That's an older woman? According to him... I guess my, my definition of older person is different than everybody else's. Right, like, it'd like be Cotter. different. If, no, it'd be like like 21 <laughs> and 50. Uh -huh. It'd be kind of weird. But like 21 that, and 24, that's not 
like that Courtney Stodden chick who is uh, dating the dude oh, from Lost, Lost yeah. and she was like 19 and he was 53. Yeah, that's yeah. weird. That was a little creepy. No, I mean, this is three years. Uh, if I'm the lady, just run. I mean, th this is, to me is a red flag that this is going to be an awkward relationship and this guy is going to look at everything weirdly and, and it's not going to be worth your time. Yeah, if you look at an age, in, an age different that little... Weirdly, I feel like that is a red. What is the what is the max age difference you will allow yourself? You're 28 now. Would you date a 40 year old guy, or is that too old? Or 35. does it 35? Mm -hmm. So you has to be. It's a seven year mm -hmm. gap range. Yeah. What about younger? Would mm -hmm. you date a 21 year old? Yeah. Because <laughs> I've met recent 21 year olds, and I'm good. <laughs> how younger no how younger would you go which is a very weird question to ask hey, live on the radio 25 26 okay so so three below seven above yeah so you're within a 10 year age range ish mm -hmm. when you're looking to date someone sure and I, mean, I think the the older thing as you get older i think that number can you know that, that age gap right. can widen a little bit I mean, mm -hmm. my in-laws are 10 years apart you know, but they both got married or well, 30s and 40s, yeah. you know, so it's like as you get older, I think that number becomes a little bit less of an yeah, issue. Yeah, absolutely. I, I don't know why it just seems weird for me to date a 21 year old. <laughs> yeah, and, and just like on Facebook yesterday, you know, where like there's like people you may know. Yeah, there was this uh, very young girl with this older guy and they were like in a like a, a couple position. And I'm like, this looks weird. So I hit the profile and it was a very young girl who who married an older and he was a musician. And I was like. This looks so weird to the eye, but I'm like, I'm glad they're happy. I'm glad that <laughs> older guy daddy. can, can I was get, say, yeah. yeah, like <laughs> he seems to be doing very well. And obviously she seems to be doing very well. And I'm like, they are nowhere in the same <laughs> league, uh, but you know, money talks. Yeah, it does. <laughs> All right, dude. Uh, at 21 and 24, stop freaking out. Mm -hmm. It'll be fine. Enjoy the relationship if you can. You freaking out shows your age. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> coming up, that's why Mac won't date somebody 21. Yeah. All right. Coming up next. This is an outstanding question. You're going to want to stick around. It's beautiful on multiple levels. Sure. We've, we've got more chicks on dudes. Max in studio answering your questions. It is the Cotter and Marshall show. Brand new a day to remember. This is everything we need in Rock 1061. Good morning. Be sure to get the stream, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. Like, follow, and subscribe. Mac from Bob1069 is in studio for another round of chicks on dudes. If you have a question for Mac, this is an opportunity for ask something. Maybe you just can't ask somebody to their face. We can email it to the show, KM Show at rock1061.com. So far through two questions, but man, is number three a doozy. It is 100% a doozy. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. Sup, chicks. Another chick here, but I have a serious question for y'all. I'm possibly getting action for the first time. Sorry, can't think of a nicer way to put it, she writes. She goes, I've never done it before. Do boys prefer to shave it all off or just trim it up? I have no idea. Also, I have an Audi belly button. Is that a turnoff for all the boys? I'm pretty insecure about it. <laughs> first of all, can I question this question by saying, how, do, how are you saying... You are possibly getting action. You're either getting action or you're not. Uh, uh, this is this is a multi-layered question. So let's just go with question number one. It talks girl. about the uh, the hair down there. Do yeah. boys prefer to shave it all off or just trim it up? That's her question. I'll let you answer. <laughs> oh God. Um. I think you won't know until like they tell you, but. Mm -hmm. God bless. <laughs> so you're saying it's a personal preference for the it gentleman. It depends on yeah, the guy. But then again, I have my preference for myself too. So Right. So you do you. I mean, yeah. I think is what it comes down to. You do you. Yes. So what what Cotter said. I mean, don't don't commit to something that the mm -mm. guy may like mm -mm. right away. I mean, save that for later. Work toward that if is, he's into something. I later. think that's a weird question to uh ask the gentleman that you're about to do some business with for the first time too, like pro like yeah. the day prior, like, Oh, we are going to possibly have some action tomorrow night. Would you like me to clean this up or just let it be? In that case, just, just tell, this is how it is. If you don't like it, let me know. Right. This is how you're shoot up it. a flare midway through. Well, that's what I'm saying. Save that for that's later. If this is, if this is one of the first times. Could help with the situation yeah, though. Well. Uh, you do you, and then you, you know, make it, make it, turn it into something special a little bit later on. If the relationship lasts. Sure. Sure. And now this is a two-parter. The yeah. second part of this question is the doozy part because I did not see this coming. Um, she has an Audi belly button. Is that a turnoff for boys? 
Do I look like? Oh, I'm not a boy, I, I but I mean, do you, I don't wait, think it would matter. Personal question. Do you have an Audi belly button? No. Okay. I, Has anyone complained about your any belly button? No. Okay. I, I think it would, I mean, how, how much of an Audi is it? You know, is it just like... Halfway out? Right. I mean, are, are we... Are, <laughs> or is it like... Are we talking like you got a thumb sticking out of your stomach? What's going on? Uh, I don't know. She just says that she has an Audi, and is that a turn off her voice? Uh, I've never come upon an Audi belly button with uh, the ladies that have allowed me to get near them, so... <laughs> I would say, I mean, not trying to make it's you... almost like a unicorn. <laughs> right. If it sticks out far enough. Uh, and not trying to make uh. you feel self-conscious. But yeah, I think it depends on the length. What's, yeah. what's the length of this belly button? I need to know more. Don't you dare I, say that G word. <laughs> I don't know what G word. Okay. Do, you, do you want to say it? No. Oh, okay, yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. Exactly. But um, I think it comes down to the length. I mean, if if it, if what do, you, it, what, what do you want a ruler put up against well, it? No, but I mean, if, if, you, if you're looking at it and it's like, the, I mean, you can't stop staring at right. it. I mean, that's a distraction. That yeah. could be a problem. I mean, if it's just a normal Audi belly button, then yo, no big deal. Yo, dumb question. Five-year-old boy question. Can you get, like, an Audi belly button, like, shaved down? Can you just have I it, like, lopped off? I mean, I'm sure you could go like through, a mole? like, a procedure. I bet there is. Can, I mean, Can you go from Audi to an innie? I bet. Serious I'm sure. question. I mean, I no, no idea. Uh, we had a, one of, uh, I would say, my first favorite sales manager uh, got, <laughs> um, got, a tummy that, Mike. got a tummy tuck years ago. Mm -hmm. And because of what they had to do and move everything around, they built her a fake belly button because they got rid of the first one. So her belly button now is just a fake belly button. Was it like a zip up? Like you could put stuff in there now? I don't, right? I don't think like so. Like change? So my guess is, yeah, you could easily turn it I into a nose in there. <laughs> That's amazing. Put treats in there for later? <laughs> You're going spelunking? That would stink. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, there that was that was a question for the ages, guys. Uh, wow. Thank you. Uh, Thank I'm, you for whoever sent that in. <laughs> if he's a gentleman, by any means, it, don't, it would it not matter. matter. I don't think it'll matter. Right. Mm -hmm. No, I, I, I think it's fine. Yeah. All right. If you have a question for Mac, obviously... Nothing is off the table anymore. You can email the show, show at rock1061.com. Mac, thank you as always. Thank you. Thanks, Mac. All right, coming up next, Marshall's Music News. Stick around. It is the Cotter and Marshall Show, Rock 1061. Hey, guys, it's Cotter and Marshall from Rock 1061. Thank you so much for watching our yeah. stupidity on Oof. daily. We appreciate it. So make sure that you like and comment and subscribe. It's down there somewhere. We're not exactly for sure. Uh, we do appreciate it. And of course, more content always coming soon.